Welcome trainers to another video today we have got Mamoswine, a tank here in Pokemon Unite. In today's video you can expect to go over each and every ability this Pokemon can learn, get an ideal moveset and a couple of tips or tricks so that you can be dominating in your next game with Mamoswine. Now let's jump straight in and first we're going to look at Mamoswine's passive ability so we can understand what is going on in the background when we are playing this Pokemon. So passive ability is thick fat. When Mamoswine deals damage, defense and special defense are increased for 3 seconds, stacking up to 3 times. When Mamoswine uses Ice Shard, Icicle Crash, or Ice Fang, the next basic attack is boosted. If any of these moves create a freezing area of effect inside an ally goal zone, the goal scoring speed of enemies is decreased. So this is a unique effect Mamoswine has all to himself within the game right now, and that is the ability to freeze your goals, making it a little harder for enemies enemies to score. It also has the added bonus of getting to use boosted basic attacks after most of his moves and also gets that defense and special defense buff whenever he deals damage. So this is certainly a Pokemon that while he is a defender he still wants to be in the fray using abilities often as often as possible to get those buffs and that is pretty cool. So he almost plays a little more like an all-arounder but a very tanky one. Now also we have Mamoswine's boosted basic attack which just happens every third attack dealing damage and freezing enemies for a short time when it hits. Mimboswine's basic attacks deal increased damage for a short time to enemies recently frozen with one of Mamoswine's moves, including that basic boosted attack. Now at level 1 we start off as Swinub and Mamoswine has quite a few good moves, so I would recommend take Ice Shard first. Ice Shard hurls three chunks of ice at the designated location, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and decreasing their movement speed for a short time. If an enemy is hit by all three chunks, they're left frozen for a short time. Your other option at level 1 or 3 is Tackle. Mamoswine rushes recklessly in the designated direction, dealing damage to enemies they hit and throws them in the air. Now once we move on to level 6 we are going to evolve into a pillow swine and get our first late game move choice and up first we have the option to take Icicle Crash. Icicle Crash drops icicles on the designated location, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and decreasing their movement speed for a short time. The final icicle shatters after a set amount of time or when hit by Mamoswine's other moves or boosted attacks dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and leaving them frozen. If the icicle is shattered by tackle or high horsepower, the ground is covered in ice which increases the movement speed of all allies that run over it. The next basic attack is boosted. Our other option is Ice Fang. It uses cold infused fangs to throw the opposing Pokemon closest to the user, dealing damage and leaving them frozen for a short time. The user can then designate a direction to slam the thrown Pokemon forward or backward, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and leaving them frozen for a short time. The next basic attack is Boosted. Now we're going to move on and get our next move at level 8. We have not evolved yet, but we have the first option which is high horsepower. Mamoswine rushes recklessly in the designated direction, dealing damage to enemies they hit and shoving them. Mamoswine then stomps their feet, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and leaves them unable to act for a short time. This stomping deals increased damage to frozen enemies. Or we can choose Earthquake. Mamoswine leaps up into the de designated direction and lands forcefully, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and pulling them towards Mamoswine. And finally at level 10 we are going to evolve into a fully fledged Mamoswine and get our Unite move Mammoth Mash. Mamoswine jumps to the designated location and becomes immune to hindrances, then repeatedly stomps the ground, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect and decreases their movement speed for a short time with each stomp. The final stomp throws enemies into the air. Now let's take a look at a few key combo pieces depending on what build you're going with and starting with Icicle Crash which is I think the best move to take at this point. Icicle Crash, it is key to make sure you're breaking your icicles with either your high horsepower or your earthquake once that final one goes down. 
I think the recommended build I will make for this Pokemon at the moment has got to be Icicle Crash and High Horsepower. It's really nice and you can just launch your high horsepower straight into that Icicle Crash. If the enemy is far away, you don't even need, you can just spam Icicle Crash into a high horsepower. You deal a lot of damage and get a wide area of freeze as a wide amount of pushback. But the main thing to note is that Icicle Crash gives you the ability to engage with enemies that are farther outside of your reach. Whereas your other option, Ice Fang, is nice and feels pretty good whenever you have it in the right situation. But Ice Fang is only able to hit one opponent. It can shove them in the CC on it is really nice, but you also need some team coordination to be able to use it really well. So I would say pick up Icicle Crash at level 6 and make sure you're comboing it with, in my opinion, high horsepower, but also with Earthquake if that's what you prefer in order to get that main ability uh, of crashing the last Icicle to deal extra damage and get the freeze. Now the other thing to note is that high horsepower is a little clunky and is one of the complaints about this Pokemon. I will say it's the better move between it and Earthquake, but you've got to get used to it being a very specific move. It does this dash and then a weirdly timed stomp. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but I still think it's worth it for the extra damage and utility it has of such a wide move comparatively to trouble. Earthquake. Now if you are going to take Ice Fang, the biggest thing to note is that you're going to choose whether or not this enemy gets essentially placed back down in front of you or gets flung over your back. So be sure you're being mindful once you initiate this move of where you want the enemy Pokemon to actually go. Most of the time you want them to go behind you, separating them from their team, but just be aware that you have the control of them either going basically right where they were again or going over your head and landing behind you. Not too much to look at with Earthquake, except that it combos with that uh, Icicle Crash. And the other thing is, since you get Icicle Crash at level 3, it actually also still combos with your Tackle, which you could pick up at level 1 or level 3. Another thing to note is looking at Mammoth Mash. This is a pretty powerful move. It has one big slam, and then you want to get as close to the enemy backline as possible while you rain down stomps on the enemy for more damage. So that's all for the moveset. Let me know what you guys are running for. Now let's take a look at how I like to run this Pokemon. My recommended build right now that I've been having a lot of good luck with is first off Score Shield. It is just one of the best items, particularly for tanks in the game. And I have been pairing it actually with an attack weight. I find that Mamoswine likes having that extra bit of attack. It helps incentivize me to get in those early scores to be aggressive, which Mamoswine, even as a little swine up, doesn't really have too much trouble. The tackle offers a nice bit of CC as well as that ice shard. And so I really like pairing it with score shield and the attack weight. And then lastly, I've been going buddy barrier. I think your third item slot could be a couple alternatives. I think you could go with a focus band if you're struggling in that early game. But my preferred build is score shield, attack weight, and buddy barrier. For the battle item, I just always take the eject button, especially as a solo queue player. There's not really too many other options. So that is my build for today. So let me know what you guys think. I hope this video will help you to play a really great Mamo Swine game next. I do want to say if you want to join and go even deeper into the conversation, check out the link in the description to join the Pokemon Unite Guides Discord. Now thanks everybody for watching, good luck out there my friends, I hope your next battle is your best one yet.